What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be telling you why I will always own a Rhodesian Ridgeback. So if you guys wouldn't mind right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and we'll get into the video. One of the main reasons that I will always own a Rhodesian Ridgeback is because naturally they're one of the most protective dog breeds out there. There's no training required when it comes to making these guys protective. He will always, 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 if he hears something that's he's curious about, he's gonna go figure it out and try to protect us from, um, you know, whatever he thinks could be potentially harmful to me or my family. And he's always done that. I mean, ever since he was just a puppy, he's just very protective. Another really awesome thing about these dogs is how loyal they are to their owners. Like he always just loves to be around us, um, which does call for a little bit of separation anxiety. So if we go away for too long, it will definitely stress him out and he will definitely get worried that he can't be around us. Um, I'm pretty sure that's pretty common with just the breed, not just him. I've heard that a lot from different people that they have the tendencies to have um, separation anxiety. But honestly, if you're not away from them for super long periods of times, then there's nothing to worry about. These dogs are also great for people who are runners. If you're a runner or if you're a very active person, this could very well be the dog for you. These dogs can run and run and run and run and not get tired at all whatsoever. They have super thick pads on the bottom of their paws so that they can run on concrete or pavement or hot surfaces and it doesn't bother them whatsoever at all. Um, so that's a really good thing for runners if you're running in the heat of summer or something like that, that that just doesn't bother them at all if you're out there doing that. Rhodesian Ridgebacks do shed quite a bit. Um, so you have to brush them a lot and it will definitely help the shedding process not be as bad when they're inside your home. But if you can just brush them, you know, every once in a while to get all that excess fur off, it, it won't be too bad, but they definitely do shed quite a bit. And it seems like a lot, especially since they're such a large dog. Uh, right now, he's probably about 120 pounds. Um, so he's just bigger than most Rhodesian Ridgebacks though, like naturally, just his body shape and the way he's built, he is very broad and um, he's just a bulky dog, but he's actually in pretty good shape, but he's just way bigger than the average Rhodesian Ridgeback, which is cool because, you know, Nobody messes with our house when he's out here. Another thing about these dogs is they will follow you everywhere you go. <laughs> they will follow you everywhere you go. So if you're going somewhere, if you're going from the bedroom to the kitchen, this dog is gonna be right behind you going with you. He just loves to be with his family. He loves to be with their owners and they're all that way. That's the way the breed is, is they're gonna follow around their owners, they want to be a part of everything. They're very curious dogs. Sit, good boy. These dogs are also really great hunting dogs. Um, obviously, I'm sure a lot of you guys know, they were bred in Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe. They use them to protect the village from lions and such, like a big pack of these dogs would chase off a lion and, you know, keep the village safe from them. So they're naturally really good hunters and they're actually, you know, they have a really good nose for things um, when it comes to hunting. Like we took him out to our cabin. We have a cabin up in the mountains. Um, we took him up there and we were sitting on the front porch and he heard something that walked right down on the front porch. Like he walked up a little bit after we had been sitting there and laid down and then he started to hear something and he looked over the edge and there was a black bear, a massive black bear down there drinking some rainwater that fell off our roof into a bucket. And where the porch is, it's about an eight foot drop from the porch to the ground. He jumped off the porch full steam ahead and chased that bear into the woods, like absolutely fearless, like he was ready to throw down with a black bear to protect our family. It was pretty cool. It was awesome. Like these dogs are fearless and they'll go to war with anything if it means protecting their family. So honestly, natural 
protection, like you can't get a better dog breed than a Rhodesian Ridgeback when it comes to naturally protecting somebody, no training required.